taifa zetu. Uko Diani, mzungu mmoja raia wa Kanada mwenye umri wa miaka 82, anaendelea kuwashangaza wengi na wakazi wa mji huo wa Diani kaunti ya Kwale kwa namna amekuwa kifagia na kukota taka katika mitaa ya mji huo kila siku kwa zaidi ya miaka kumi sasa. Baadhi wa kazi wakidhani kuwa yeye ni jasusi wa FBI au mwenye akili tahira. Ila Detlev Janthur ambaye amehudumu kama mwanamazingira katika taifa lake ambako pia ameshinda ameshinda tuzo kadhaa anasema kuwa yeye ni mtu anayependa kuona mazingira safi. Hata hivyo Detlev, la kushangaza ni kuwa Detlev hapendi kufua akitumia sabuni na pia kuga kwake hatumii sabuni. Tobias Chanji alikutana na Detlev katika shughuli zake za kila siku na kuandaa taarifa ifuatayo. Kutokea barabara kuu hapa Bichochoro, Detlev Janza anaonekana na ala zake za kazi. Japo mri wake mzee na afya yake inaendelea kudidimia kulingana na jinsi anachechemea, mzungu huyu mwenye umri wa miaka 82 anapania kuwa na mazingira safi. Amejitolea kusafisha baadhi ya miji ya Diani kila siku kwa miaka kumi sasa. Anasema kuwa jamaa walidhani yeye ni jasusi wa FBI huku wengine wakiekewa lakin akili zake. Muda mrefu tu nilivyomuonea mpaka saa hii. Anamuona mzee anazunguka zunguka sima hapa peke yake, nazunguka paka huko anarudi na Saidi huko, anaokota kota makaratasi. Lakini kwa ile sisi tulikuwa nafikira pengine ni mwenda wa simu. Mimi wanaona yuko timamu. Pengine sababu niliona ni baba mzee hivi asa pengine yuwafanya mazoezi hivi everybody is saying ah this mazungu you know we must be working with the FBI who is crazy death level of sili humu nchini kwa mara ya kwanza mnamu mwaka elfu mbili na tisa makao yake akiwa mjiu wa mtuapa county ya kilifi na kisha diani kwale baada ya miaka mitatu katika mjiu wa mtuapa hakujiusisha na usafi But I found it wasn't necessary to step in the Okunda area because I, I found it pretty pretty rough at the time. And uh, it's hard when you're environmentalist, you're doing something and it's always most people say what the heck is he doing or why is he doing that? Death level zaliwa ujerumani lakini alipotimu umru wa miaka kumnambili yeye na wazazi wake walihamia nchini Canada. Amehusika pakubwa na kazi ya mazingira haswa katika mbuga za wanyama nchini humo. I was working originally I worked in a lot of the big parks in Canada the national parks in in, in Canada Banff National Park Yoho Park. Hapa ndipo alipopenda mazingira kufa kupona. Magazeti haya ni thibitisho tosha kuwa alitambuliwa sihaba. Mara kadhaa pia ameshinda tuzo. I started uh, doing it at that point but always on a voluntary basis I, I was never paid for it my job uh, uh, for the city of Montreal Katika mji wa Diani mwana mazingira huyu amepangisha nyumba ya shilingi 1015 anamoishi na mkewe mwenye asili ya Kenya na anayeonekana kuionea haya kamera yetu Tunamuuliza Detlev ikiwa shawahi fikiria kwa usisho wa kazi katika usafi You know I think there's a misconception that every Mazungu is quite rich. I have to admit the Mazungu is definitely better off than most Africans. But this Mazungu I tell you he makes around I would say 600 euro per month. And I support the family with that. Na Jim Kewe. She she's quite uh, she's quite opposed. She this morning we've had an argument is that are you the garbage man and who was, who wants to be the garbage man? Really rough, really really rough. I I learned one thing, never argue with a Kenyan because their logic I don't know where they put everything. Dapo na yatamini mazingira death level na maajabu mengine hatumii sabuni katika kufua wala kuoga. Get little dust and get little things on it. But I'm not going to church with it. So, if I ditch in water, hang it up, the sun kills most of the bacteria and me I have a happy to show it's really in pretty good shape. Kwa sasa naomba kutambulika ili uma usimchukulia ndivyo sivyo. So if some sort of a recognition something would be quite okay for me, you know. And how long I will do it, I still don't know. I cannot tell you as long as I can as well as I can. Maana hii sisi tunatupa yeye anaokota anafanya safi. Eh, kwa hivyo anatufunza jambo ambalo tutajifunza kutoka kwake. Na bila shaka hulka ya Dekla ni kelezo chema kwa wakenya wote na kinafaa kuigwa na kila mkenya ikiwa tutataka mazingira safi. Tobias Chanji, KTN News, 
mji wa Diani kaunti ya Kwale